darlings, for today's video, I'll be creating a golden glam look using a lot of new to me products. To start, I'm filling in my brows with the Mellow Cosmetics Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate using the Sigma Beauty E75 brush. I'll be using all Sigma Beauty brushes today, so feel free to use my discount code, the Taylor Cherie, for 10% off at sigmabeauty.com. To clean up and define the brows, I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade 0.5, then I'm tapping that base all over my eyelids in preparation for eyeshadow. Once that's tapped on to be smooth, it sets itself, so we're ready to apply eyeshadow right away. Today I'm using the Mellow Cosmetics Sinopia Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm first picking up the matte burnt orange shade called Sinopia and applying that to my crease. I'm applying this to my crease and not my outer V because I'm going to be creating a full cut crease look. Now I'm picking up the matte terracotta shade called Nudie and applying this right along the upper edge of what we just applied in order to blend it out. Once we've achieved a nice blend, I'm tapping on a little bit of the matte white shade called Pecan onto the brow bone. Next, I'm taking the Sigma F75 brush and cutting out the crease with the P. Louise base. I'm not worried about making this perfect because I'm actually using the new Galactic Metallic Eye Sparkle Shadow in the shade Shimmer to create the sharp cut in the crease, and I'm applying this all over the lid as well. Now I'm just cleaning up the glitter at the outer corner of the eye with a Q-tip, and then I'm applying eyeliner. I'm using the NYC Liquid Eyeliner to draw a wing and dragging it into the crease a bit as well. Now to prime the skin, I'm using the Catrice Energizing Prime and Care Spray. Then I'm covering up my redness with the Liquid Camouflage Concealer in Anti-Red. Once that's blended, I'm adding the Camouflage Concealer in the shade Fair Ivory underneath my eyes. I'm using this concealer right against my eyeliner with a small flat brush as to not disturb that area and then I'm blending the rest in with a damp e.l.f. total face sponge. For foundation, I'm using the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade Porcelain Beige. This is very matte, however, it didn't accentuate my dryness and actually looked really good on my skin. To set underneath my eyes, I'm using the Catrice Prime and Fine Luminizing Powder in Radiant Beige, which I think is a little too dark for my skin tone, but this was my first time using it. To contour, I'm using the Girlactic Matte Bronzer in the shade Cabo and applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, jawline, and along the bridge and tip of my nose. Now I'm applying bronzer to the same areas by grabbing a slightly larger brush and applying the Catrice Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer in Golden Ecstasy, which has a bit of shimmer to it. 
For highlighter, I'm first taking this golden shade, which is the Face Glow in Goldie by Girlactic, and applying this to the high points of my face with the Sigma F36 brush. And then I'm taking a smaller brush in the Catrice Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter, which is a lighter champagne shade, and concentrating this to the cheeks, nose, and inner corner of the eyes. For blush, I'm using the Sigma Aura Face Powder in the shade Nymphea, and then I'm setting everything in place with the Catrice Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Moving back to the eyes, I'm applying the Sinopia shade from the Mellow Cosmetics palette to my lower lash line, and then I'm prepping my lashes for falsies. First, I'm curling my lashes, then I'm applying the Grande Drama Mascara, and then I'm popping on the Gold Crown Lashes in the Style Tulip and tight lining with the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. Finally, I'm applying the Girlactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Bashful. And that completes this look. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!